What's going on guys, Tanner Flowers here. And as many of you know, I have been catching snakes my entire life. One of my favorite species that we have here locally in the Cleveland, Tennessee area is the common corn snake. And that is the reddish and orangish coloration snake that you may come across here quite often, especially if you live next to some woods. I just caught one in my garage. He is a baby corn snake. And uh, let me see if I can flip the camera around and give you a couple details on how to identify one of these versus, uh, say, maybe a venomous copperhead that you may as well encounter here in our area. It may be a bit hard for me to get it in focus, but let me see if I can get it against some of these opposing colors here in the background. And you may be able to see or start somewhat beginning to see some of the reddish coloration uh, amongst the pattern throughout the body of this snake. If you were to look up the head of an adult corn snake, just headed home right then, looked on the side of the road, and here is a corn snake. Just a red corn snake. I haven't seen one in quite some time. If I can get him to sit still long enough, you would see that pattern on top right there. Uh, come on, if I can get you close enough. Well, it's a bit hard. To, there it is. There it is. Look up an adult corn snake, and then you will see that head pattern there that's a common characteristic of this species. I would love to be able to get its orange eyes in the shot. Hard filming something like this. Let me see if I can get you out of the light. Maybe this is better. There we go. And he does have the orange eyes. And I will show you the uh, checkerboard belly here momentarily. Man, it is hard to film a baby snake. This guy was actually so small that he was caught amongst the spider webs that was in the corner of the garage. He evidently had slipped in through the crack of the garage door there. There's his orange eyes. Man, hopefully you can see them. Come on, camera. There you go. There's the head pattern that I wanted you to see a moment ago. And now let me see if I can give you a shot of the checkerboard belly that you will see common amongst most all species of rat snakes. There you go. There's your nice shot of the belly pattern. Um, not very many snakes that are going to appear to be similar as this one, especially once it gets older. Um, a snake that does have a red coloration to its body as well, even more brightly so than this, um, is the milk snake. You could uh, search that snake as well. But as far as red colorations go, um, common to our area, once again, Cleveland, Tennessee, it's going to be this right here, the common corn snake and the milk snake. And whoa, there he is. And if you guys were to happen to ever come across a baby copperhead okay i'm here i just left the copperhead out of the bag here it is here whoa oh and i got his attention now
Okay, you got it? Got it. You ready? I'm ready. See if they can move their fangs independently. From left to right. Just like I'm talking about right now. You see him trying to reach the fangs back on me? Mm hmm. Hard. Look at that fang on the ground. You see the fang? Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. I don't know if you see it on the camera or not. I'm trying not to, not to. Uh... Okay. Okay, just get ready to stay back. Right. Got a good shot of it? Yep. Tanner Flowers, Tennessee Technician. It's about 11.30 at night and removing a copperhead from, uh, what's your name? Mitchell. Mitchell's Owens. home here in Cleveland, <laughs> Tennessee. And, uh, yep. Here worry. we go. There you go. That's that. Man. Supposed to get me on edge, man. I'm just copying this. Could you see the. Which a lot of people sometimes mistake these snakes for because they see like the reddish oranges pattern. They're like, oh, that's got to be a copperhead. And it's not. Not at all. But a, a baby copperhead will actually have a brightly colored tail right there. And. If you just search a copperhead as opposed to what you're seeing right here, you will see there is no comparison whatsoever. So there you have it. The common corn snake. That's a pretty good shot of it. Look at that. There's the orange eye. Look at the orange eyes. Nice. There you go. Perfect shot. Perfect head pattern shot. Should have been filming this way the entire time. This guy's gonna get bright red. I gotta call up Bob Hammond and see if I can find some pinkies by God. God bless, don't bite me in the face. See you in the next one.